you guys got to check this out. Uh, I wanted to point this out. I got a batch of broilers right here. The land slopes up a little bit, but it's pretty flat in this field. This whole field's pretty flat. Uh, it's got little little curves and little topography to it. We've had one of the wettest years that we've had in years. And where I'm standing right now this is on the edge of where I keep the pigs. There is, if you can see this, this is my water level. Look at that right up at the surface like you can't see the roots of the grass in some places um and the water table like i could see it tough to have a lot of wet acres if this was a dry year this would be pretty dry i've actually run broilers on this strip before that's why instead of going down that way uh, i took the broilers and went the other direction because i knew it's drier in the field over there if I didn't have the year I did and I had a higher production level, um, then I would not be able to run as many birds on this piece of property. And I would just be stuck because I would have birds in wet ground. That's uh, kind of crazy. So in the coming months on the YouTubes, I'm gonna go over what my property is like, what it can handle, and just kind of doing a more in-depth analysis of what my operations are here and if they make sense uh, sometimes they do sometimes they don't I don't always make the right decision but it's more about the process that's what we're gonna be going after how to look at a piece of land what to how to determine what to put on it what your own motivations and goals are and then uh, applying that real-life application what I've learned the mistakes I've made over the last couple of years the money that I have wasted uh, failing at things, the money I've gained or made succeeding at things, and how I've kind of tailored my systems and what my problems and progress are going to be going forward. Life is a process um, of setting up new systems, adapting, being agile, and uh, you just, you gotta adapt. I, uh, I didn't choose this piece of property, but I still would. It's beautiful here. I love it. I want to spend the rest of my days here uh, farming if I can. You know, that's the goal. I love farming, but man, on a wet year, I got I got soggy ground and I got to figure out how to deal with that. So subscribe to the channel. We'll talk more about this. We're just highlighting that wet ground today. And until um, next time, I'll see you on the field.